Hello and welcome back to FAD Learning. In our last video, we learnt about signals, a stable feature in Angular 18. Now, Angular 19 has been released on November 19, 2024 with a game-changing feature that simplifies signal management by making them writable and automatically updated, called linked signal. So, let's explore the concept of linked signal. So, first, let's quickly discuss the evolution of signals. Signals were first introduced in Angular 16 in developer preview, but support for many features was limited. For example, signals could not be used as inputs to components. Next, signals become stable in Angular 17. Angular 18 further improved signal stability and introduced zone list chain detection with signals, offering a more efficient and lightweight approach to detecting changes. And now, Angular 19 introduced a new concept in developer preview called linked signal. Now, let's understand the implementation variants of linked signal. Linked signal supports two implementation variants, shorthand syntax and source and computation configuration. Shorthand syntax provides a simplified syntax for creating linked signals, making your code more concise and easier to maintain. Whereas, Linked signal with source and computation allows us to define a source signal and a computation function to determine the updated value of the linked signal. So now, let's understand these two implementation variants with practical examples. So let me go inside Visual Studio Code. And here I have already created linked signal component and imported that component inside imports array of app component as well as added the selector of signal component inside app component.html file. So now we can see the link signal content on the browser. Here you can see. Now when we learned about signal, we discussed there are two types of signals, writable signals and computed signals. Apart from computed signals, Angular now has a great feature called linked signals for defining signals that depends on other signals. So now here, what I'll do, I'll create three variable. One is writable signal variable initialized with one. One is normal variable initialized with 10. And one is computed signal variable. And this computed function calculates the value of total by multiplying the current value of quantity signal and price. Now to display this total on web, inside h2 tag, I'll add the message calculated total value equals to inside interpolation I'll bind this total and after this h2 tag I'll create one button called calculate total and for this button I'll add one click event and on click of this button I'll call one function with name calculate now I need to declare this function inside ts file and in this function I'll set the value of quantity signal to 2 quantity signal dot set I'll pass 2 now save the changes and go to the browser okay let me correct the spelling of value and this is signal so we need to use parenthesis now save the changes and let's check on the browser as you can see here, on page load, we are getting total 10 because the initial value of quantity signal is 1 and price is 10. So, it will calculate 10 into 1, 10. But when I click on this calculate button, you can see the expected value as 20 because on click of this button, we have updated the quantity signal value to 2 and 10 into 2, 20. Okay, so our code is working as expected with writable and computed signals. Since computed signals are read only, we cannot directly set a value to it in comparison to writable signals. And to overcome this restriction, we can use linked signal, which is available in two forms, linked signal with shorthand syntax and linked signal with source and computation. So now, Let's execute the same functionality using linked signal. So for that, I'll copy and paste this computed function here and I'll comment out this for now. 
and here instead of using computed function i'll use linked signal which is imported from angular slash code okay so what i did i just copied this computed function and pasted it here and instead of computed function i have written linked signal that's it now save the changes and let's check on the browser to see if our functionality is still working as expected so let me click on the calculate total button and as you can see we are getting expected total which is 20 but this total we got from linked signal not from computed function and if i change the value of signal to 5 then in this case what will be the total 5 into 10 50 now I'll click on this calculate total and you can see the expected output 50. So this is first implementation variant of linked signal with shorthand syntax. Now let's explore the second implementation variant of linked signal which is linked signal with source and computation. Okay, let me copy and paste it again and I'll comment out this linked signal. Now source with computation linked signal function requires an object with three properties source computation and an optional equal property so to pass the expected values instead of using the shorthand syntax i'll create an object inside this linked signal with properties source and computation the source property identifies the dependency signal in order to track the linked signal and in this case, the linked signal depends on the writable signal, which is quantity signal. So here, I'll write this dot quantity signal. And computation property defines the computation function that will execute when the source value changes. So here, I'll use the same logic as before, which is to calculate the value of total by multiplying the current value of quantity signal and price. So how does it work now? When quantity signal changes, the linked signal detects the update. Then computation function is executed and displaying the total with the new quantity signal value. And the result becomes the new value of total. Now save the changes and let's check the output in the browser. Let me click on this calculate total and you can see the expected output 50 because we have set the value of quantity signal to 5. If I change it to 10, now we will expect the output 100. Here you can see the expected output. Okay. So this is how we can use linked signal with source and computation and this linked signal with shorthand syntax. And one more thing, we can add another property inside this linked signal called the equal property. This is used to specify a custom quality function for comparing values. And this is very simple. We just need to provide the A and B values similar to the sort function in JavaScript. And then we need to match A and B to determine whether the two values are equal. So as the equal function is optional, I won't go into detail about it here. But if you are interested in learning more about equal, I have covered this equal property in another video on signals. You can find the link in the description below which includes a practical demonstration of equal property. So, so far we have seen the examples of writable signal, computed signal, linked signal with shorthand syntax and linked signal with source and computation configuration. And kindly note that this linked signal API is still in developer preview, but it might change before it is stable. So that's all about linked signal. I hope you learned something new today. If yes, Kindly share your feedback in the comments below and in the next video we will see about routing. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to FAD Learning for quick and easy learning. Thank you. Bye bye.